Well, George, you're second in the table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. Pleased with that? <laughs> yeah, we're pleased with that. Yeah, I mean, look, we're the first game of the weekend, so, uh, you know, that could obviously uh, it, and is likely to change, I think, over the weekend. But, um, yeah, it's good. We'll take it for now. You had to work really hard in that game. Maybe the scoreline's a bit deceptive. Yeah, I, I mean, look, that was one thing we, we talked a lot about half-time before the game. We knew we'd have to work hard because, you know, London Irish are an on-form team. Um, you know, they, they've done really well lately. And came into this, I thought we were fairly well-matched teams, actually. Um, so we knew it'd be very small margins. And, you know, generally speaking, if you if you work really hard and you stick together, you, you probably get those. And you had to withstand a lot of first-half pressure. The opening 15 minutes, they really had you contained. Yeah, I, I thought that first 20 minutes, actually, our, our defence was outstanding. And I thought that, that probably set the tone for the game because uh, London Irish have scored a lot of tries this year. And, and to hold them to one throughout the game was outstanding. And to, to take that barrage of pressure early on was uh, was big. But not convincing. And what was said at half-time then? No, well, we just need to stay on task. You know, we, I think the boys were a bit frustrated at half-time. They didn't feel that we were quite maximising the chances we got. Um, you know, London Irish have got a good defence, so we, we had to keep banging the door down and, um, you know, no, nothing too strategic, just, you know, keep doing what we're doing and, and the messages are pretty much the same as the start of the game. Were you surprised that what we thought was a touchdown for Charlie Chapman wasn't referred? Uh, well, no, because I, I had the benefit of looking up there and it, it did look like he got held up and uh, look, that defender did a great job, didn't he? So um, that's one that just got away. Two of those tries you scored came again from a catch and drive off the line out, but uh, do you think sides are starting to work you out a bit there? Oh, look, I mean, sides are, uh, you know, having to do a lot of work to stop our mall and um, I'll, I'll be very interested watching those back to see how they got stopped, uh, you know, and that's, it's good for us, like, we, you know, we need to get tested and, yeah, but obviously you, you've got to stop our mall and, and that creates a bit of space for us out wide if, you, if you've got to throw a few extra men in. And coaches always enjoy a trial for training ground and that was a superb one, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, and, and again, uh, credit to the boys, they're seeing the space, I thought, you know, the, the 10, 12, 13 today hasn't played together, hasn't done a huge amount of training together and that was a real challenge going into the game and I, I thought those three lads did really, really well. Ruin Ackerman's form continues and just reward two tries, book ended the game. What has he got to do to get in Ed Jones' mind? Yeah, I mean, look, it's a good question, isn't it? I, I think, um, you know, I think keep doing what he's doing. I think he, he's consistently one of the best players in the league and I think, you know, he just keeps banging on the door and, and eventually you can't be ignored. But... Um, you know, the boys love him, he's, he's a great bloke, he, he loves it and, um, you know, he's uh, nothing positive, uh, no, sorry, nothing but positive things to say about Ruin. And you had to show great resilience against a very big physical Irish side there, particularly up front. Yeah, absolutely, and you, you saw that against Exeter last week, you know, they were banging people around and, um, you know, they, they've had some really good form of late, so tough, tough earned win. Any injuries to concern you? Uh, no, I don't think so, but again, it's, it's always too hard to tell straight off the game. And thoughts about next week, a big challenge at Exeter. You've got two big games on the road now to come in the Premiership. Yeah, we, we've got we've got a, huge, a few huge games coming up. Um, you know, some some really good teams we've got to play. And um, look, it's, it's it definitely, it's always a tough game, isn't it, Exeter? So um, I'm not thinking too much about that right now. It's it's very late. It's been a very long day. I'll just enjoy this one. And then tomorrow we'll, we'll crack on getting ready for that. And there's over the crowd at King's Zone, quite magnificent. Oh, unbelievable. Like, I mean, the, the noise the shed made at the end there after the game when the boys were walking round. I've not heard anything like that in a rugby stadium and that, and that was after the game so um, you know it's outstanding and, and long may it continue because it's very special.